Mr. Mayorkas was asked some questions and he says, look, we're a nation of immigrants. Okay, well, actually we're not. You've probably never thought about this. You probably just take it. Oh yeah, we're a nation of immigrants. We're a nation of immigrants. No, no, there's something different between a settler and an immigrant. There are immigrants in America. But America was not founded by immigrants. It was largely founded by settlers. That's a separate mentality and philosophy. Mayorkas is just parroting the regime talking point, which, by the way, most of your Republicans that you send to D.C., they'll be like, well, you know, we are a nation of immigrants. Now, of course, certain immigrants can make the country better. I'm glad Elon Musk is in America. I am. I think he's made the country a better place, and he's trying to. I don't agree with him on everything. There are certain immigrants that invest and have entrepreneurial grit and a hunger and a work ethic. I think that's very healthy. But unlimited flows of immigrants, are, are all immigrants making America a better country? Of course not. Are all immigrants necessary for the future of America? No. What does the history of immigration tell us? Fluctuations, ebbs and flows. We have peaks and valleys. Right after World War II, we basically shut it down. We basically shut down immigration. We said, we're going to put our jobs, our economic future and security first for our World War II veterans. And don't, don't give me this nonsense like, oh, well, it's because it was post-World War II. You're trying to tell me you want actual refugees? Actual refugees could have been taken in in the late 1940s, early 1950s, when we basically grinded immigration down to a halt, especially considering we're now at 1.3 million, 1.2 million legal immigrants, not to mention the transformational flow of people coming up across the southern border. Okay, but Majorca says we're a nation of immigrants. No, we are not. Play cut nine. Nobody ever asked this question. Do Americans gain from all the immigrants you're bringing into the country that drive down wages that push up rents? Sir, we are a nation of immigrants and we are a nation of laws. Individuals who qualify for relief under our laws have a basis to remain in the United States. The contributions of immigrants to this country is quite clear. Okay, first of all, if you are a trespasser, a border jumper, you are not an immigrant. You're a vigilante or a fugitive. An immigrant is someone who applies the right process to come into the country. That's number one. Number two, the American founding fathers came to a country, and this really irritates the academics. I could just hear Nicole Hannah-Jones. She's going to scream when she hears this. You can't say that. The American founding fathers and the colonists came to a country that was largely uncivilized. It was not built out. So they had to settle and build something new. A settler builds something new. New laws, brings customs, tradition, infrastructure, buildings, roads, schools. And they did a pretty awesome job of that. An immigrant comes to something that is already built. And it is a moral requirement before anything else happens with immigration, to ask the first question, is that person we are bringing into the country going to benefit the nation? Second question, is that person going to assimilate with our values? Now, the great irony is that our values are so sick and twisted, it's like, I don't know if they're going to, what, what values are they going to assimilate? We're going to have a bunch of Nicaraguans turning trans? Like, I don't... That's not exactly a compelling argument, but traditional American values, let me put it that way. A belief in the promise of the American founding, separation of powers, a strong nuclear family, delayed gratification, the belief that the West is best. These are values that if you do not agree, go somewhere else. Why don't you just go, instead of flying to Mexicali and going north, go to Mexicali and go to Caracas. If you don't believe the West is best, get out of here. We don't want you. When you come to our country, you got to say, you know what? I'm going to learn the language. I'm going to learn English. I'm going to learn your history. Who's George Washington? Who's Thomas Jefferson? Who's James Madison? Who's Abraham Lincoln? Who's Teddy Roosevelt? What are the Federalist Papers? Why is this the wealthiest nation ever to exist in the history of the world? Why is this the most generous country? Now, again, it... it, it when I say assimilation, I laugh because some of the current orthodoxies, I do not want Hondurans to assimilate towards. Like, actually, no, I, I, I prefer not to have Hondurans and Nicaraguans all of a sudden believe that men give birth. <laughs> Please keep your 
values in that way. I'm talking about traditional American values. By the way, I still believe is a majority of the country. I still believe a majority of the country is center-right. The body politic, the regime, the cartel of the, the unelected, the bureaucrats, the Washington, D.C. cabal, the crime syndicate running our country, they have a whole different philosophical agenda. They don't like the country. They actually have resentment for the country. They don't believe in borders. They believe in neoliberalism. Invade the world, invite the world. The West is a mistake. Centralized bank digital currency. We want nothing to do with that. But let's just fasten this again. Native-born Americans cause too many issues. You, native-born Americans, cause too many issues for low-talent, power-hungry elites. Foreigners, low-wage foreigners that don't own anything, are easier to control with the two tactics of tyrants. If you want to say, Charlie, can you explain tyranny in two buckets? Very simple. It's the two Fs. Tyrants control people through fear and free stuff. Fear and free stuff. Fear and free stuff. All tyrannical programs can be distilled into one of those two buckets. So an illegal, a vigilante, a fugitive, a trespasser, a border jumper is perfect for that. Owns nothing. And that's not necessarily their own fault. They come from a very poor country, but they own nothing. So they don't have necessarily skin in the game. They're not part of the American middle class. And so when offered free stuff, of course, they're going to take it. And then there is this societal sword of Damocles constantly hovering above them that the Democrats are going to use saying, Republicans want to deport you. Yeah, we, we want to deport you, obviously. And then they use, oh, wow, look, they want to deport you. You're a criminal. You shouldn't be here. Go back to where you came from. Go make Honduras great. Nicaragua, Ethiopia. And if you want to come into the country, I got a form for you to fill out. 